Hello everyone, uh, I am Camila Garcia, a self-taught mixed media artist and art journaler uh, with a passion for all things botanical <laughs> and I am here today to talk to you a little bit about my Flowers Magic Art Journal. Uh, this year was my second time as guest teacher for, for the fest and I want to thank you, Francisca, for having invited me again. Uh, Flowers Magic is this amazing event all about flowers with fantastic teachers and great lessons. And this year I wanted to um, go deeper in the fest and also uh, follow it as a student. So for that I did, I made a specific journal uh, to um, follow the fest and try to respond to the other teacher lessons as much as uh, possible uh, and um, it was really great I really enjoyed the fest I learned a lots of new techniques and experimented with different styles uh, but um, in the end, um, I tried to fill the rest of the journal uh, with my uh, own style and my own uh, way of respond to uh, the lessons uh, of the teachers. So without further ado, let me show you inside of my journal. So um, this is the journal. Um, I made this cover using fabric and some embroidery scrap, some um, flower, uh, embroidery flower. Um, I combined these um, different um, partners, uh, fabric partners, like these dots one with flowers. And um, then I added some embellishment. Um, like these pompons uh, and this other one that it's like mini tassels uh, and I also added this uh, tassel here uh, the journal has uh, two signatures uh, that I made using all sorts of paper uh, and um, let me show you inside so I started with <laughs> This first page, I didn't um, work much on this page because uh, my paper has already one of my uh, embroidery uh, partner uh, uh, here and I had one of the tags from the lessons of Rachel um, and here also I have another tag from made inspired by the Amy Bishop um, lesson um, and I kept well, we will find lots of collage from my uh, floral pieces that I uh, that I made all the time and I have a stash that I use uh, throughout all my, my journals and here I have some uh, embroidery page uh, I added this um, fabric uh, page so I would be able to make some embroidery um, what else this is a page response to Rachel's uh, lesson with some uh, embroidery tags and tabs uh, again another um, spread using my floral pieces and I add some sequins as the center of the flowers more of my collage pieces, uh, this time a butterfly, um, this one um, was a mix, like I, the background is inspired by the Eugenie uh, lessons, I have a flower from the lesson of Amy and then I added my uh, usual uh, line work and this little piece is um, a paper boutonniere. These are pieces that I have been uh, making 
uh, so I can have these little uh, embellishment pieces to add to my journals. Oh, here we have, uh, I spread uh, only with my rosettes. Where else? This is my um, take on uh, Carrie's uh, lessons uh, about the blues. Um, not able <laughs> to work with cyanotopy. cyanotopy. I, I'm not sure if uh, the, this is the correct pronunciation, but I enjoy it very much and I make this double spread. This one is inspired by the amazing flowers from Michelle. Uh, I did another one first, but I didn't like it and I just glued it here. It, it was previously in this page and I just glued it and did this one that is more me, but definitely inspired by Michelle uh, lesson. This one is a response to the lesson of Casey. Uh, Casey lessons was about paper weaving and I <laughs> struggle a bit to incorporate it uh, in my spread in the way that I, I made me happy. So I decided to use it for this tag because the thing that most attract me in the lesson was the use of the the flowers the plastic flowers and i have a bunch here because of all the project and i mean i am really happy to have these uh, in this spread and here is uh, the response from one of my lessons the bubble pockets i did this little this little knot this uh, giant uh, pocket for this page. Uh, this one is, is, is uh, a response to Susan, uh, Susan uh, lessons about the, um, I think was Dudo in Planets. I didn't um, uh, make uh, the inks, the natural inks, but I really liked the idea uh, of work with circles, you know, my lessons is about bubbles. So uh, in the minute I saw her uh, work with the idea of a planet, I really enjoy it. More um, embroidery, more leaves, collage leaves. This was a response to the Eugenie uh, lessons about, um, I think the, the lesson is called walk in the field of flowers and I learned a lot with Eugenie in this lesson about the transfer technique, the background one and I couldn't resist with uh, myself, my little version here uh, walking in this, in this field. Uh, this is uh, I um, response, not the first one, but a response to uh, Joanna's lessons about still life painting. Uh, uh, you have here another embroidery. This time I applied some um, fabric first. Uh, I glued it, the fabric and then I did some stitching uh, around them. Uh, what else? This is my response to Amy's um, lessons about um, Frida Kahlo. Uh, you can see that I use the same flowers here that I have in my pocket because I had a lot of them for the classes and it was perfect to use in this journal. This was my first response to my own lesson uh, about botanical bubbles uh, and I was influenced by the response of Carrie. Uh, she uh, drawn different uh, flowers on, on her um, spread and I did the same here and I added one of the tags from Rachel Lessons. Uh, again another botonier. Oh this is my answers to I think it's it's called imaginative flowers from Gabriel uh, and instead of have a separate book I 
I inserted the book within the journal. This was my first response to Joanna's lesson, my first still life painting. Yeah. Uh, and I added these embellishment pieces that is one of my embroidery partner that I will um, I have been exploring lately. You can see another one here together with my second response to my uh, botanical bubble lesson. Another botanier, little pocket. Um, uh, one page spread using the technique from my lesson, <clears throat> my lesson on Wanderlust this year. Another bubble, uh, another botanical bubble spread, but this time um, I use the flowers also as a bubble. Another still life painting. Another one, nothing special about it. Oh. And I added these leaves uh, spread that I like very much. And I uh, usually uh, explore uh, leaves together with flowers in, in my journals. This one was inspired by the flowers that I have been sketching. Um, inspired by the course from Wendy's Bright Peel scraps no sketches on scraps um so i needed to this, add this one was fun because i had this image already in the journal and uh random randomly these these i had also this vellum uh, page so i decided to just trace the the the, the image behind and then um make a, a, a acrylic painting inspired by then here so it's like a triple spread <laughs> this was my response to robin my Ma robin marie uh, lessons i love it it was something very new for me um and i really enjoy it work with a collage but with these papers that were um how can i say in english don't remember the name, but you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this one was a response to Amy's Bishop lessons. I really enjoy it. I think it, it's called something like expressive flowers or expressive botanicals. And I did this spread. I did uh, some tags and also a little uh, zine that I don't have with me here uh, but yeah it's it's really um, colorful and playful and I loved her uh, lesson uh, a little pocket with a, uh, a tag inside more embroidery combining um, fabric uh, uh, application I would say and some stitching a butterfly that I already have and some image with uh, cross stitching partner so that's it this is um, my flowers magic journal I am really happy with it I think it turns out really beautiful and I think I have learned a lot uh, with the lessons um, you can see that some of them i keep repeating throughout the journal uh, and yeah i hope you have enjoyed it to see inside of my journal uh, and that's it uh, bye bye